Oh man, Sunday sermon late night. You're nothing but a prostitute. <laughs> oh man. Hey man, it's been a rough week, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the church, man. You know, shout out to everybody uh, that was hit me. You know what I'm saying? Behind the scenes. Hold on, hold on. Reset it. Hold on. All right, how the mic sound now, man? How the mic sound now? It should be crispy. How the mic sound now, y'all? Let me know in the chat. We wanna, we wanna make sure we okay. I'm looking at the comments. They say I sounded messed up. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's see. Y'all got to tell me how the mic sound now before we get started. Hold on. Okay, we good? Okay, we good? All right. You fucking perverts! Like I was saying, man, I appreciate everybody uh, who was hitting me, you know, uh, you know, uh, behind the scenes and, and the fans and everything, you know, we, we had a real rough week. Uh, we back to do this work. You know what I'm saying? We definitely going in today. You know what I'm saying? We got the mic right. Okay. 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 You know, it's going to be one of those. It's going to be one of those episodes. We about to really, really bring this fire. Appreciate y'all letting me know about that mic. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, man, it's about to get hot in this motherfucker today. We talking about black single mother supremacy. Mother's Day edition. See, today we're going to get back to the essence of when we first when we first came in this thing, man, you know what I'm saying? Getting at these single mothers, these toxic, toxic single mothers, these selfish fucking parasites to society. You know what I'm saying? These, these parasites to society. Manufacturers of all that's wrong with the black community. Everything that's wrong with the black community comes out of the womb of a black single mother. Black women are not, um, and I, I'm gonna be honest, man. We have to, like I said, we have to hit the reset button on black women. We got to hit the reset button. And what I mean by the reset button, we got to break the cycle. You know, these women have got to stop breeding. 
Them having kids is dangerous. What are black women raising? You know? And today is a day where some of the worst women um, with children are getting total praise. People are praising these shitty mothers today. There are a bunch of shitty mothers. And I, I'm, I'm here to say, if you have had an abor abortion, you can't undo that evil. That evil cannot be undone. You have terminated life which comes through you, and we are supposed to celebrate you today. There's a lot of you niggas in here right now. Your mother killed your siblings. Yeah, yeah. Your mother killed your little brother or your sister. And you wonder why a lot of you men don't have the right dynamic that you should have with your mother see a lot of you all aren't going to know what good mothers are until you step outside of the black community jewish mothers are nothing like our mothers arab mothers are nothing like our mothers indian mothers are nothing like our mother mexican mothers are nothing like our mothers nothing like our women these women actually enjoy being moms. Even most white women love being mothers. Nurturing a child is what they live for, not our bitches. Most of you all in this chat room are an accident and you were unwanted. A lot of you, you have to really thank God that your mother, your ratchet mom did not terminate you because she could. You know, some of y'all are just lucky to be here. You're lucky. You're here by the skin of your fucking teeth. A lot of times, our own mothers will look at us and discuss because of the setback that you are. Most black people were not raised. Listen to me, church. Oh, my God. Most of y'all were not raised. You were merely maintained. They put food, clothing, and shelter on you, which is what they're supposed to do. This is like giving somebody credit for wiping their ass. Most black single mothers today are asking their kids for gifts and reminding them. They treat today like a second birthday. You know, when I look at a lot of these people, uh, these, these mothers, and, they, and they, pro they, they profess to be good moms, good mothers. Hold on. Let me shout out. Uh, who I got to shout out? Let me shout out Fear Zone with the $50 super chat. We got the highest super chat today. He's sponsoring, he's sponsoring the Sunday sermon. God. 
See, a lot of these women are getting praised for doing the bare minimum. You know, um, and they're asking their kids for presents. They're treating today like a second birthday. And a lot of these women profess to be good mothers. And I tell women all the time, you don't know you a good mother until your kid grows up and comes back and tells you how good of a parent you were. Because we got to be honest. Most black people don't have anybody to compare parenting to. See, if, if all you had was a bologna sandwich your whole life, you'll never know what steak was. Most of y'all grew up on Salisbury steak. You don't know what filet mignon is till you get out the hood. Then you will find out what a mom is. What a mother is. And you will look at how much your life has been cheated by this selfish woman with her own agenda. And you were merely in the way. She was obligated to deal with you. And if she could, she would opt out. No other race of women brag. Shout out to Mr. Stewart with the $100 cash app, super chat, whatever the fuck you call it. He's the sponsor so far. He's cooking. Church members. You were in the way of everything she wanted to do with her life. You are merely just something she has to do that she's obligated to do. No other race of women brag about the challenges of raising a child. These women love being mothers. Black single mothers hate the job. They hate it. Shout out B Sims with the with 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 with, with the fifty dollar super chat. Yeah, we gonna go there today. We gonna go there today, y'all. We gonna go there today. They hate the job of being a mom. But today, they're putting on a show. They're putting on a show. And everybody's serving them. Everybody's serving them. We need a report card for today's black single mother. A report card. She was never taught how to be a mother. She winged it with your life. Are you fucking hearing me? on your life cheated you out of happiness cursed you out at grocery stores embarrassed you in front of her friends for her amusement called you trifling 
Told you you ain't gonna be shit like your daddy who couldn't deal with a funk ass. <laughs>
talk to some of these 16 year olds living with a single mother she will sit there and tell you in two years you better figure it out because you about to go mama gotta live her life Mama got to live her life. And most do. See, they always want to do everything but be critiqued on their mothering skills. You think because you buy your kids some Jordans posted on Facebook with matching outfits, you a mother. You think because you get your kids hair done and go get them a little haircut, you a mother. You think because you bought a kid a little video game and post a picture on, on the gram, you a mother. In that household, for those who, of you all who have dated the black single mother, we have seen it with our own eyes. How terrible black children are treated. Under the supervision of black women, the neglect, the ridicule. The first person that told you you wasn't shit was your black mama. The first person to ever tell you you wasn't gonna be shit was your black mama. And today is the day You pretend it didn't happen. But then they say who hurt you. Okay. The women in your life. Next question. Well, you got issues. And they don't. They don't. They hurt you. They don't have the issue. You got the issue. Because, so what that means is, you were supposed to take that hurt. You can't handle the hurt from a, from a black single mother. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Nothing wrong with her because they normalize that. It's expected. It's expected. Talk to me, church. It's expected. Black single mother supremacy. You know, you hear these so-called educated Negroes who make educated excuses for bullshit. We'll always find ways to tie this to the white man. The white man didn't get your mama pregnant. She chose to be pregnant.
she chose to live the life and move around and hop from dick to dick to dick. And have babies with no plan, just a baby. And trying to figure it out on your watch. Your childhood was cheated. Your childhood was cheated. And you're ignoring it today. Because you have a blind allegiance. Can't pick your family. She was young. She was young. She was young. When I was young, I was dumb. We gonna stop that shit now. Just cause you young, you don't got an excuse to be dumb. Mark Zuckerberg was young. And made choices that Change the world. A young person made Facebook. Not an old motherfucker. He had, he, he had a purpose on his mind and a plan. What was the single mother's plan? I don't want to hear the young shit. You were ill-advised. <clears throat> Someone telling you in your young years you got time to fuck up? That's a stupid motherfucker you shouldn't listen to. Damon John was a young man when he came up with FUBU. He's a billionaire today. He did that when he was young. How do you use your young, dumb years, bitch? Who told you to waste your young, dumb years, bitch? And you want to multiply, replicate, duplicate your life in another person. In an apartment? Are you fucking nuts? White supremacy, huh? That's holding you back? You sure it wasn't your thirst for raw dick, cheap liquor in the club? Being a bad bitch, getting likes? You sure? White supremacy held you back? Or being a dumb motherfucker without a plan, knowing that the world would fix all of your fuck ups. Single mother supremacy. This has dominated our community. Young fellas, when you get on this scene, more than likely you're going to meet a single mother. Why? 
because we live in a country that incentivizes the worst behavior. The most uh, 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 undisciplined, reckless, irresponsible people are single moms. And in this community, they are the heads of households. This is like having a crackhead drive the plant, uh, the, the, the Titanic. We're definitely going to crash. Who do we have in the driver's seat for the black community right now? Does she even love the job? See, today is a day where everybody's all smiles and stuff like that. But tomorrow it's over. And reality will set in. Has she had a good 364 days of motherhood. Talk to me! About to go there, man. Talk to me! Has she had a good 364 days of motherhood? See, the report card is going to show the results. See, we live in a community where this woman can never be critiqued, never be cr criticized. She's always a hero. Everything she does is great. Everything she, do everything she does is supposed to be viewed as great. And if we go to the hood, just knock on doors, That's our reality check. That's the snapshot. That's the screenshot. Is the black community really ready for a screenshot of black single mothers? Are we truly ready to even face it and have the conversation? These bitches are gonna run from this conversation. <clears throat> what about the men? What about you? Men get protection. Which means you could harm us. So we are protecting ourselves from you. But you have birth control. Which means you control birth. You decide who lives or dies. And if we look at the abortion clinics, most of us are dying. Most of you all haven't been raised by black single mothers. You haven't been loved by black single mothers? No, you survived a single mother. But today, you are pretending as if she's done some mighty task that she didn't create. She created the all, all of her misery that she has. She created it.
she enjoyed every night making every last bastard baby that came out of her womb. Oh my God. We not fucking around today, nigga. It's time to cook. If you think I'm here to play around with y'all, God damn it on that. All right, let's hear Yo, shout out. Shout out Mo Wet coming through with the $200 super chat. Lead sponsor of the show. If you think I'm here to play around with y'all, God damn it on that. All right, let's hear This shit got to get ignorant today, man. We about to go through a lot of this shit. See, a lot of these single moms don't deserve custody. I'm going to be honest with you. If it's no benefit to having you financially, that's probably one of the only reasons why a lot of y'all were in your mother's household. For financial reasons. I'm just being honest. For black folks. If it wasn't a check involved of some type of some sort, you'd have been given away. You'd have been given away really quick. And you see on the daily how many single mothers are in misery. But your kids are in danger. We're dealing with these women. See, these women don't love these kids. They are the worst moms, period. But today, y'all going all out. Treating today like it's a second birthday. She asking for shit. I got white friends. Got Mexican friends. Other races, other cultures, they mothers are not asking for a gift today. They just want to see their kids. Not our women. No, no, no. Our mom's like, so what you get me? You know it's Mother's Day. But when they die, you the one that's going to be paying for their funeral. You're going to be stuck with the bill. When they're elderly, you know, because they lived a selfish life and didn't treat the man in their life like a man and pick a good man and, and keep them. Most of you, most of you black men are gonna be the husbands your mother could never have. And you're gonna to have to get another room to accommodate your mother. And it still won't be fucking good enough. Most of y'all lives are cheated because you're taking care of the fuck-ups your mother done. Your mother in her 50, 60, she had 50, 60 years of life. All but to cheat yours. But in the black community, the black single mother is supreme. You're supposed to take care of her. You're supposed to do all these things. What the fuck is she supposed to do for you? Most of you black people can't get ahead in life because you got a mother being a parasite to your pockets.
in the black community, when you grown, ain't no favors from your mom. You don't get favors. She charged you. Yeah. Yeah. If you ask your mother to go, could you go pick up the kids? Okay, well, I'm going to need $55 and... Damn. Hey, could you help me with it? Yeah, if you, you know, I just, but you got to give me like 50, 40, 40, dollars Need a hundred dollars. A lot of you niggas don't elevate. And today is another selfish day. Where she gets a pat on the back for doing something that she should have enjoyed every day doing if she was a mom. <laughs> This is what this is what this is what we face in the black community. When you turn a certain age, it, it, probably before then, your mother will treat you like a nigga on the street. And don't be irresponsible, young man or young lady. It's some of you motherfuckers that was paying rent when you was 15. Bills in her house when you was a child. <laughs> You think that's normal. You think that's normal. That's not normal. That is not normal. Black single mother supremacy has made that a norm, but that's not normal. Take that and ask another culture, does their mother do that? Do their mother do that to them? And you'll be shocked at how shocked they are of the concept. They got kids living in their house all through college, 24, still building, trying to get themselves together. They don't become a financial burden on their kids. They want their kids to be better than them. How can your kids be better than you when you're in your kid's pocket? But see, the conditioning of black single mother supremacy makes you think that that's normal. See, these women have these kids as pets, toys, props, all to make them look virtuous look heroic, look strong. All of this imagery that she's trying to put out is at the expense of these kids. These kids will suffer under a single mother. Some may get lucky. There are a few lucky ones on here. Why take the gamble? Why do black women want to gamble? And what are they risking? 
Who are they risking? You are who they're risking. You are the one that they have risked. Why do you think that different kids, when these, when these single moms have kids by different men, different kids get raised different? She's figuring it out. She might strike gold on the third child, but two had to suffer through her bullshit before she found Jesus! Oh my God! Black single mother supremacy. Black single motherhood is a religion. Ratchetness is a religion of the black woman. Why do you think most people are in fear when it's a bunch of black women in a room? And I'm speaking about other culture. See, this is how you evaluate yourself. You compare yourself to who is doing better at what you are doing. Think about that. You don't evaluate yourself to other shitty people. You don't say, I'm the best mother out of all the Keisha's in the room. That's stupid. You look at the best mothers. And the best mothers are coming from other cultures. Mainly Asian. Jewish. I've always told y'all, I don't compete with you. I compete with the Jew. That's why you don't call me talking about where the hoes at. Where the dough at. We got to we have to pick the people who are doing better and do a comparison. But the problem with black single mother supremacy is that they think they the best. If black single mothers were the best, they would have the best results. <laughs> What are your results? What are your results? Look at your neighborhoods. That is your results. Look at the prison system. That is your results. Look at the strip club. That is your results. Let's go to the county morgue. That is your results. Who are you all comparing yourselves to? Each other? You got Tasha and Keisha, who's the best baby mama? Oh, okay. It's like two retards in a, in a wheelchair playing basketball against each other. Who gives a fuck? They're no, they're, they're no LeBron. There no LeBron. You compare yourself to who is doing great. You could just start with who's doing better. Work your way to just better. Then you can eye the greats. Who are the great mothers? Great mothers produce great children who create a great society. You can't blame Donald 
Donald Trump for that. Because every dick that went in you, you picked it. What no oppression that got you to jump on that erection? You picked it. You chose this life. Now today is fake pat him on the back day. No. We're evaluating your report card. That's what Mother's Day needs to be. Turn in your grades today. That's what Mother Day need to be. When you turn in your grades, turn in your work, and we and we grade you. How about that? We sit down and look at the last 364 days of motherhood. And we grade you. Pass or fail. Black single mother has failed. These hoes need prayer. Uh, you know, I know sometimes people tell you you need prayer and they're be, be, being sarcastic. I'm not being sarcastic. What you need right now is prayer. It's prayer. Prayer changes things. See, without prayer, this would be a piece of cloth. It would be rags. Without, without prayer, this would just be all in a bottle without prayer. It would just be soap with olive oil in it without prayer. But because of prayer, God's anointed is on it. And it's reaching out to you right now. I want you quickly. I want you to order in that personal pet package right now. Quickly, I want you to move out right now. Don't procrastinate this. Don't put it off. I want you to order in that personal pet package right now. It's our point of contact between you, God, and myself. And God is going to use it to cause the God's anointing is on that personal prayer package, just like his anointing is on me to pray and to help hurting people. Yeah, pass or fail. Today is the day you need to be evaluated. It should be evaluation day. That's what Mother's Day needs to be. You should be working all year on being a great mother for this day to arrive and get your grades. Then you can hang a plaque up. Then you get your ribbons, your gold star. You know, but if y'all just tuning in, man, it's Mr. Jap. We are live in the church. Um, Sunday sermon, man, late night. You know, I hate to keep y'all up, but we got to work. We got to work. We got to work. You know, um, I was disturbed when I had seen. You know, I see a lot of ratchetness with uh, black single mothers. And I tell y'all about the Chicago uh, black single mother, which is one of the worst women God has ever placed on earth. Um, and we got black single mothers 
uh, twerking on kids, around kids. But now we actually got black single mothers bringing kids to the club. We got Ari. I'm going to play it again. This G Herbo baby mama with his son in the club with liquor, hookah, and bitches dancing everywhere of a toddler in the club playing and dancing. It's a celebration. You see what I'm saying? This, this is why we are doomed. Now, somebody somewhere wished. I appreciate you, Black Lemire, man. $500 uh, super chat. Appreciate you, bro. This is why we are doomed somebody somewhere is telling this woman happy mother's day if she had to turn in her grades today she should be suspended this is why a lot of you black men need to get custody of your son because that fine ass that that thick lit bitch you have is doing this with your child. It's a celebration tonight. Your child. In danger. Now, let's the club is dangerous, man. Let's be real. Motherfuckers get popped in the club. All that. You bring your son to the devil's playground. The club late night. Somebody's telling her Happy Mother's Day. Some nigga is wishing her, hey, Happy Mother's Day, baby girl. Somebody, she's celebrating being a mother. And this is what black single mother supremacy is. Somebody is mad at me for pointing this out. But they not mad at this bitch for doing this. This little boy in the club. Turn up, your son. Hey! hey. This little boy in the club dancing and shit. And nobody's evaluating the mother. She needs to lose custody today. This is this is what I'm talking about. And they mad at the black men for pointing this out and wanting change. See, this is what we get in mothers. What is that little boy going to be when he grow up? Under her under her guidance, under her guidance, what will he be? You think he going to be an engineer or a car cracker? Or weed slanger. What is he gonna be? It's a celebration tonight. All these holes. This little boy exposed to twerking and titties and shit. 
liquor, smoke. It's probably weed smoke in the air. But somebody is telling her, Happy Mother's Day. We are the only culture who still give props to the shittiest mothers that planet Earth has. It's titties and ass all in the room. This is a toddler. He babbling. He playing. He don't know what the fuck going on. He's vulnerable, impressionable. What if he start mimicking his mother and start twerking? Because this is what he what what, what his mother put him around: butt naked women, ass shaking, shit like that. All this bitch wanted was the kid just to get a piece of G Herbo's legacy. Who suffers the kid? Whose life did she sacrifice? This child. This child is in a fucking nightclub. A hey, turn up your son. Hey. They playing all this ratchet music. We're playing all this ratchet music. And he's right in the middle of all this shit. But nobody's evaluating her mothering skills. What other culture of mothers is going to do this to a son, a daughter, a child? You know, there's people online protecting this bitch, saying that we being too judgmental. Because we feel that this is out of order. This little boy is doomed. I don't care how much money she making. When your mama's a hoe, and, she, and you tagging along with your mama doing whole shit, you're doomed. Hey, turn up your son. Ho ass friends filming this little boy, encouraging this shit. These are your kids, man. These are your kids, man. But this is what happens when you allow them to be mothers and you congratulate them just for being someone who's birthed a child. This is not, so is this mothering? This is the new turn up mom? This is the new turn up mom? Huh? This is the new turn up mom. But we supposed to protect this. Don't critique this. Who hurt you? You're beating down your. You come from a mom. Who gives a fuck? Today is evaluation day. How do you evaluate a mother that brings her her son to a nightclub? How do you not lose custody? Instantly. If a black man did this, he will be locked up and barred from that child for life. This is child abuse. He don't know no better. Hey. There's bouncers. There's all. Why are there bouncers in there? Because bullshit kick off. You didn't brought a child in the club. You didn't. You. You didn't have time for your for your bookings. 
to you didn't have enough money from your bookings to go find a babysitter. You that busy, you had to bring your child to your bookings. We've heard plenty of stories. Let's talk, church. Let's talk. We've heard plenty of stories of strippers with their kids in the locker room. They got their kids in the locker room. Happy Mother's Day, though, right? These women don't know whether they want to be a hoe or a mother. You, you can't do both. You got to pick a lane. You going to be a hoe or you going to be a mother. Or a motherfucking hoe. This shit crazy, man. This shit crazy, man. And like I said, man, I know what's going on, man. Most of these bitches don't want to be moms, bro. They breaking down. They hate this shit. They hate this shit. But they pretending today like it was a good 364 days earlier. See, today, fuck all that praise. Let's do an appraisal. Let's evaluate some motherhood in the black community. Time to turn in your work. We giving out grades today. We need to find out, does the black woman of today pass as a mother? Or has she failed? What has she raised? What has she raised? What's going on? Oh, she got a master's degree, but she got a son in the county right now. Oh, she's working on a doctorate, but her daughter's a stripper with three kids. What is she raising? What is she instilling in these kids? Come on, church. Y'all don't, don't, don't hold back on me now. Y'all motherfuckers, y'all motherfuckers, you know. Don't get scared. Don't get scared. I told you it's going to get sis. But they don't want to be moms, man, and they breaking down, and they tell you. That nigga. <laughs> See, I'm tired of these hoes crying because they have an ability to not get pregnant. They act like they have to get pregnant. I've been with these bitches. These bitches have... See, they don't want to talk about things called baby fever. I try to tell you niggas, man, y'all better pay attention to these hoes. Yeah, baby fever. They begging to get raw dick. Cheap liquor. And then they crying now. She loved every minute of it. Why are you not forcing niggas to wear condoms? Why not? I'm so happy today. Where's all the happiness? Oh my God. What's all the happiness? Motherhood's a joy, right? Why are you so mad? You know, today they being real phony. But this is how they really feel. They don't love these kids. Kids are not a fucking uh, 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 blessing. These kids are a nightmare. Told you, nigga. They don't love these kids. Mmm. So, it's Mother's Day. <laughs> we kissing these hoes at, and she want, a, she want a couple months away from these damn blessings that came out of her womb. All right. Oh, but who hurt you? 
months off of mothering show me another race of women that want to take a uh, 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 months off of mothering get on here and declare it and shout it from the rooftops just shout it from the rooftops shout it from the rooftops she want to take she want to take some time off from mothering somebody somewhere is telling this bitch happy mother's day it's a goddamn shame when you incarcerated and you sitting here in jail for seven, eight months, I'm taking. Oh, so you're fucking felons. Oh, my God. You fucking dumb bitch. You're a dumb bitch at best. <laughs> like, this is the results of being a dumb bitch. You know what I'm saying? I, you like, I was a dumb bitch. I was a dumb bitch. Your pussy! Hey, bring the camera some. Bring the camera. All the young girls who want to make life with pussy, your pussy will perish with you in hell. May your pussy perish with you. May your smooth pussy, creamy pussy, and tight pussy perish with you. Sunday sermon. You already know. And this is why a lot of kids get get killed. I ain't gonna lie to you. Cause this is some real pain this woman is going through. And the pain is is you. You were your mother's pain. Most women, black women tell their kids that you a pain in my ass. This the, the kids are her pain. And she and, and this is why a lot of kids get taken out, man. When you be seeing that shit, bitch, throw the kids in the river. But now nah, y'all, y'all niggas don't want to get some child uh, uh child custody. You gotta go get your kids from this bitch. She can't do it, she's not strong at all. She's not strong at all, nigga. See, that was that was smart of him, man. Get the fuck over there for she hurt somebody, my nigga. Don't take care of your kids, nigga. Don't take care of your kids, nigga. You know? You win, you, 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 you winning that pussy like a pervert. You know what I'm saying? Now you gotta deal with it, man. Go on ahead. Protect your kids, you pervert. Yeah, man, look at the pain, man. Nigga had to, nigga had to pull up. God damn, bitch. <laughs> Your ass on Facebook Live going through one. You know, man, save the kids, man. Somebody telling a Happy Mother's Day. You doing a good job? No, you're just dealing with kids, bitch. And most of you motherfuckers are just you wasn't raised. You were just dealt with. It shows. Them half-ass hugs you give your mama, it shows. You was put up with till you turned 18. She got through. You survived. <laughs> you know? You survived, man. But, man, it's, it's serious, man. It's serious, man. Like, a lot of people don't know, man, these women have a selfish agenda, man. And they living for themselves, man. They living for themselves and they putting these kids on the back burner. They putting these kids to the side, man. You know what I'm saying? They'll put these kids to the side if they could to pursue their dreams. You know what I'm saying? I want y'all to go look it up, man. I had it up. I couldn't find a uh, video. I don't know what I did with it, but Tashina Arnold. 
Tashina Arnold and Taraji P. Henson. So a few other words. Nia Long, too. These bitches had kids all through their motherfucking um, 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 Hollywood career. Bitches like K. Michelle. They grandmothers raised them, them kids, man. Because these bitches was pursuing their dreams. They wasn't mothering. They wasn't mothering at all. You know what I'm saying? But this is when you when you're dealing with single mother supremacy, that's not deadbeat. They don't consider, they don't. When have you heard of the deadbeat mom? You don't. They'd they rather tell you you got mommy issues than to tell you that you got deadbeat mom. You said uh, Monique. Monique had a kid? Oh, I didn't know that. Somebody hit that? Lisa Ray? Yeah. Yeah, Lisa Ray, uh, mama raised her daughter. Her daughter's a single mother. Who would have thought? I didn't see that one coming. We didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Chicago hoes. You know, but yeah, they put their kids to the side, man. Mothers with partners complain at all. My name is Chip, and I'm a single mom to a seven-year-old little boy named Legend. Two months ago, in order to create a stable income for me and my son, I moved to Los Angeles to follow my dreams of being a stand-up comedian. I this potato head left her son to go be a stand-up comedian. Only thing funny about you is you're a goddamn potato head. That's the only thing funny about the bitch. I had to leave my son behind in Maryland with my parents. Hey, left. Left her son behind. You see, you see what I'm saying? But somebody somewhere called her ass up and wished her a happy Mother's Day. How was your day today? I'm sick and tired of these entitled moms complaining about the pandemic when they have so many resources. They have a husband, they have money, and they have a future. Now you could have had a husband. You could have had money. You could have had a future. If you would have married before you fucking carry, you stupid fuck. Oh my God. Dumb fuck. Oh my God. Dumb motherfucker. Now she mad. Now she mad at the bitches that actually did it right. You mad at the bitches that did it? I look at her, she's a potato head. The eyebrows, the lipstick, the, the potato head wig, potato head, nose ring, potato head. Not everybody has those luxuries, and they need to be humble. I miss you. Every day here in Los Angeles, I wake up on East Coast time to log into his Zoom classes to make sure he's focusing and paying attention. And then I also have to make sure I'm scheduled to check his homework. In the meanwhile, I still have to book these gigs. But I do understand that I'm here in Los Angeles. This bitch got a OnlyFans. Let's cut this shit, church. <laughs> tell the truth. You're stripping. You're a stripper. Let's t tell the truth. You're a stripper. Okay. Ain't nobody paying you like that for no stand up, and you're doing st and you're pursuing stand up as a as a OnlyFans stripper, and you're working in a fucking strip club in Compton. Let's talk. Get your funky ass out of here, man! Y'all niggas need to get custody of your sons. Angeles, trying to create a better life for us. With COVID happening, it just makes it so hard to maintain the focus and the peace of mind. It really sucks that I can't be with my son physically every day, especially during this pandemic. She said she left, the words that she used, I left my son behind. Yeah. 
Church, 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 check in. Listen, if you like this exclusive content, make sure you go over to Patreon, become a member, and you're gonna have unlimited access to all my banned from YouTube content, banned from the public. People cannot take this heat. We dropping straight heat, straight fire. You know how we do. Follow me on all social media platforms. The link is in the description. Again, join the Patreon. It's starting as low as $5. Join. Peace.